of the Gingerbread Man by Mara Alpern. Mr. and Mrs. Baker lived all alone. Day after day, they baked their gooey cakes, sweet crumbly pies, and piping hot pastries. But they had no one to share them with, and that made them very sad. One, then one day, Mrs. Baker made a little gingerbread man to cheer them both up. He had jolly jelly buttons and a big icing smile. Dusting the flour from her hands, she popped him into the oven. But to Mr. and Mrs. Baker's surprise, when the tray came out, the gingerbread man leaped up onto the table and began skipping through the sugar. Tee! You can't catch me! He giggled. But the gingerbread man was so quick for them, and he jumped right out of the window. Skirtling along the path, the gingerbread man ran into a very hungry cow. You look tasty, mooed the cow, and what fine jelly buttons you have. But the gingerbread man was da just danced and pranced, singing, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran, as fast as his gingerbread legs could carry him. With a great moo, the cow thundered af after the gingerbread man, past the milk churns, through the barn, and around and around the haystack, until, crash, the haystack tumbled over, right on top of the cow. Oh, milkshakes, cried the di very dizzy cow. The gingerbread man scampered up the hill. At the top was a very hungry goat. Good day, bleated the goat. I love munching thistles, but you look even better to eat. But the gingerbread man just whirled and twirled, singing, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he zoomed, leaving trail of gingerbread crumbs behind him. So the goat dashed after the gingerbread man through the thistles, over the gate, and in and out of the apple orchard until, smash, the goat butted right into a tree and the apples came tumbling down with a thud, a thud, a thud. Oh, applesauce, cried the goat, rubbing his head. Tee hee hee, laughed Gingerbread Man as he frolicked through the new meadow, or through the meadow, there dozing in the tree was a very hungry cat. Hello, mouthed the cat. You look like the perfect snack. But the gingerbread man just wiggled and giggled singing, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he whooshed, racing down the lane. Licking her lips, the cat chased the gingerbread man around the bush, through the daisies, and toward the pond. The cat leaped, leaped, up, 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 and came down, down, splash, right in the middle of the cold, wet pond.
Oh, whiskers, grumbled the very soggy cat. As the gingerbread man ran down the hill, he began to laugh and sing. Tee hee hee, I'm having fun. I've run away from everyone. A curly haired woman, a man in a hat, a cow and a goat, and a silly old cat. But when the gingerbread man reached the river bank, he stopped and shivered. Brrr, too cold. How do I cross? Just then, a fox appeared. Hello, little gingerbread man, he grinned. May I can help you? Maybe I can help you. Just climb on my tail and I'll carry you across. Oh no. Brrr, too chilly, the gingerbread man squealed as the fox paddled to the river. Then why don't you climb onto my back, asked the fox. Brrr, too wet, squealed the gingerbread man as the water swirled at his feet. Climb onto my head smirked the fox, and the gingerbread man scrambled up. But the water rose higher still, so the gingerbread man climbed to the top of the fox's nose. Tee hee hee, they'll never catch me, he cried, just as. Oh no. The fox tossed the gingerbread man up, up, up in the air, and opened his mouth wide. Snap! And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Oh dear, sighed Mrs. Baker. What a naughty gingerbread man he was. I'm still hungry, mooed the cow. Me too, pleaded the goat. So am I, meowed the cow. Then Mr. Baker said, let's all go to bake something else together. So they all trotted back to the bakery to mix and stir cakes and pastries and pies. But no more gingerbread men. It was a fantastic feast. And there, three new friends, Mr. and Mrs. Baker, were never, ever lonely again. The end.